Good morning, my friends. It is Thursday, January 8th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. And I am traveling, staying in a beautiful hotel, beautiful room. And I've lit a fire early this morning. And I have with me none of the things that help me pray, except for being with you and this beautiful room and the sun rising. I am here today to talk to you about the prophet Isaiah, uh, who we read today in the daily office. And the prophet says that God is displeased when there is injustice, and God is pleased when there is justice. When there's injustice, God is not pleased. What we saw on Wednesday in the storming of the Capitol building was scary. It seemed as if our democracy was in a very fragile place and still is in some ways. To see them breaking the windows of those hallowed halls to see people being violent with the media, pushing back police, I was scared. But more than scared, I found myself saddened by one thing in particular above all things. Many of the people were carrying signs that said Jesus saves. For them, they thought that desecrating public property, making the government feel unsafe, was what Jesus would want. That injustice would somehow please God. I'm convinced that God wants us to be safe as a society, wants us to grow in our awareness and maturity. And we cannot do that without justice, without rules, and without a belief and trust in one another. The chaos that ensued on Wednesday was not only frightening, but it undermined particularly the Christian faith, misrepresented who we are. Jesus did not come to overthrow the government. He came to do something much more important, to show us how to live a life of love and service. So, Let's make sure we understand that the kind of violence on Wednesday was nothing, anywhere near what pleases God. What pleases God is when we seek justice and love mercy. It's when we try to do what is right above all else, not to try to be right. Let us pray. Almighty God, on this new day, we ask you to help us walk the path of justice, of love, of respect for the dignity of every human being, for public property, for all that you've given us, this earth and one another. Help us to value human life above all else and the beautiful majesty of this planet. Be with the sick and the dying, those who are struggling, Lord. Thank you for these vaccines that are arriving among us and help. Thank you for the joy and hope that they bring. Lord, protect this nation and guide us into an era of justice, of truth, and most of all, of mutual respect. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.